There's really no reason that I can think of it why it would take this long to do these and investigations of these charges. Also breaking tonight, Utah's governor is providing new details in a misconduct investigation in the Utah National Guard. The governor's office confirmed it learned about allegations against former Adjutant General Michael Turley a year ago. Turley was placed on leave by Governor Cox just two weeks ago and late tonight a spokesperson for the governor said a KSL record request first alerted the officers to the allegations in August of 2022. It received additional information weeks later. Governor Cox directed state human resources managers to look into it, but they were unable to get more information from the Army Inspector General or independently substantiate the allegations and took no action. Cox's spokesperson saying tonight that the office had to wait for the results of the Army Inspector General's investigation before taking official action. The Army confirmed to KSL it ended its investigation on the findings of this allegation substantiated. The governor's office did not answer our questions tonight about any potential disciplinary actions for Turley, citing that Turley's decision to retire and step down. Governor Cox appointed Brigadier General Daniel Boyack as the new Adjutant General of the Utah National Guard last week. You can read more on this report on KSLTV.com and on KSL Plus app.